G'day everyone. We are still on chapter 12 because it's a beauty. <laughs> Did everyone get notification of that during the week so you knew that and so there was a, some extra homework to look at? Yeah, cool. All right, well, I'm looking forward to biting that off with all of you. Um, but before that, I just need to talk some business and logistics. This is the last week that we'll use this hall for book group. We're going to, and next week's book group is cancelled because AJ and I have got some travel plans that we're, we're going to be around the countryside. So when we get back, which is in about three weeks, we'll be holding book group in Mackenzie Road, just around the corner from where we live, um, at the back of Peter Highbloom's house, which is kind of like takes us back, doesn't it? To <laughs> with Peter's generosity. Um, we're able to use that space at the back of his place, which is great. Because, um, to be very honest, we can't really afford to keep hiring the hall um, based on the donations that we get for a book group. Um, and so we're going, to, we're going to shift. But I also um, need to talk to you about that, <laughs> uh, the fact that we're not getting many donations. And just, get, just reflect to you a little bit about the work that happens behind the scenes for each book group that we do. So um, obviously I get up here and talk for a while, um, but before that um, I drive a van here <laughs> and Lena and Igor, Vlad, Yvonne and a few, usually a few other people join in in setting up the hall. Then we have the book group. Meanwhile, all these people are filming and doing all these technical things to make sure the sound quality is really good. Then we pack up. So usually it takes about three hours, just that chunk of time. And if we paired it back to the very basics, myself, Lena and Igor could do that, do all of that, but then it's still three people's time for three hours each. But beyond that, Lena and Igor do a lot of other work. It takes them, I think, four hours to um, just edit each group that we have. And then there's a whole other process that goes on to render it, yep, compress it, do all these other magical things to end up making a finished product that goes on YouTube and goes on your hard disk drives that we give out freely. So there's quite a lot of time and energy that goes in there. And I suppose... Lena and Igor also put in a lot of time in a lot of, for every presentation that we give. They do a lot of things with mastering, editing, all of those kinds of things. Now, AJ and I um, do give them money <laughs> based on like what we're able to give from the donations that we get. Because Lena and Igor are actually having to do quite a lot of work apart from what they do for Divine Truth, which is really a full-time job. They're having to do quite a lot of work generating other income, other forms of employment so that they can support themselves um, while all this continues happening. So I guess the feeling that, um, or the, the principle I suppose that I'm bringing up with you guys is how much do we really value what's being done for us? Um, because there's quite a number of gifts that are being given. And I understand that money is not the only way that we express gratitude and value, but if it means that we, if we truly do have gratitude for a gift that's being given, um, and it means that but the people who are giving the gift can't actually maintain that gift, then we have to ask, are we really grateful in receiving it? Are we really wanting this gift? Um, just a statistic off, um, off the top of my head or that we were just realising earlier, 700 people um, subscribe to YouTube. Now, if every one of those people donated just $10 a month, uh, that would support both myself and AJ and Lena and Igor comfortably and easily. The truth is the donations between the, the lot of the four of us are far less than that combined, quite a bit less than that, like significantly less than that. So um, really myself and AJ really just survive on the generosity of a few people who give us large sums of money. Apart from that, we're not really um, surviving off doing these day-to-day, -day, these weekly things that we do love doing. <laughs> Trust me, it's a, it's a product of my heart that I'm here and I really love doing it with all of you. But if 
it's not, you know, if you don't value it, <laughs> I, can, I can go and do something else or I can do it in a different way. Do you see what I'm saying? So I also feel here today, or for yourselves to think about, is do you, do you really want to go on with this? Do you value it? Um, I, I want to keep doing it, <laughs> and that's why we've talked to Peter and he's kindly offered his place, and, and I will keep doing it. But um, if it comes to a point where I have to go and get a different job, then I'll do that as well. <laughs> and that would be okay with me, like, I've had lots of different jobs in my life and I quite like working. <laughs> and sometimes I frighten myself and I think, wow, maybe I do just want to go back and get a nine to five job. <laughs> but I love this too much. So I know it's touchy when we talk about money and I really didn't want this discussion to be about money, but more about um, how, you f how the value you place on things and where you where you decide to use the resources that you have and how you do express gratitude. So I don't know if I've made a meal of it, <laughs> but does, does anyone have any question or comment on what I'm saying? If not, we can just launch into book group. My beautiful soulmate, of course, can say it. <laughs> um, babe, I, I feel you haven't explained the costs involved with setting up even just book group. Like, you've only because of your own uncertainty with regard to money, yeah. <laughs> you haven't really described the costs involved. Like, just, just the hire of this hall is $100, and then there's the hire of the vehicle to get all the sound equipment here, that's another $200, and then there's the... The maintenance of the sound equipment, which... Yeah, well, we haven't even included that. So yeah. there's $300 already, and on the average, donations for book group at the moment are around $300. So... Yeah. so they only pay for those two particular things. And yeah. um, the, like, and that, if we factor in Igor and Lenor's time, Ligor's time, which we, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we call them, um, there's a good, like, there's a good 10 to 12 hours that are eventually used there generally every single week, or at least eight, if we add up all the setup time, dismantle, plus all of the other time. And um, if they were just earning $20 an hour, yeah. um, you know, there's another $200 basically of time that doesn't get paid for. And we would love to see Lena and Igor working full time, just doing all of these different things. And the reality is there's enough data produced for them to be working full time. Mm. We just don't have the funds to pay for them to work full time. And that's without your preparation time, which you haven't included in all of that either. No, no. Um, because Mary constantly deprecates herself <laughs> with regard to that. Um, so if you, if you add up all the time uh, and, and just very basic costs without, without doing any profit or anything, the book group at the moment doesn't even pay for the hire of the hall or the, and the hire of the, of the vehicle to get it here get the material here. That's, that's what it pays for at the moment. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Yep, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and I, yeah, I, I suppose you're right. I just have a lot of issues um, with my own worth and the worth of what it is we're doing. But I also know that I see a great worth in the book and the material and um, just all of us coming together and really working our way through it in a practical sense. Uh, I feel that has a lot of worth. So, um, but that's, as you're saying, not really reflected, I suppose, in the donations. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you also you haven't stated what, <laughs> like, what you're going to do about it. <laughs> well, we're moving to Peter's. But there's still the hire of the van and everything else, like. Yeah, well, if it becomes, if it comes to a point where it's not... there's also Lena and Igor's time, like, that, that, you know, we really... Well, if we're going to do justice to them, we need to at least give yes. them something for yeah. what they do for us, you know? Yeah. yeah, and that's a growing feeling for myself and AJ that we do want to give them more, and we have been making a conscious effort to do that within our own means. Mm. But um, I feel their service is... Remember at the, um, at the beginning of this book, there's a, there's a story of a, a very poor man who passes and he, um, he, 
he passes through the mist and there's all these people there to meet him. He says, what, me? I didn't do anything. <laughs> and, and they say to him, no, 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 you did so much with the little that you had. And I often think of Lena and Eagle when I think about that story because they do, they don't have very much and they do so much with what they have, you know. And, um, yeah, I feel they're pretty special people and we, we certainly value them a lot and, um, yeah, try to express our gratitude for that. Uh, Barbara? Um, if we were being honest with ourselves, um, the information that we've received through Book Group, um, besides what um, AJ always does for us, um, he's shown us the way and given us the truth, but Book Group for all of us has been um, a practical way of putting a lot of things um, into reality and making our soul search a lot deeper about things that we've skipped over. And if we're being honest, that's priceless. And how are we treating that priceless gift? We have to ask ourselves that. Mm. Thanks, Barb. That's been my hope. The only thing I would say is you probably need to just say it for yourself. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know how... Everyone else feels about it. But I know many of you have expressed that you feel it's great to really start to reflect about these lessons and truths. Yeah, yeah. 